Welcome to episode 11 of Black is Evil and White is Good. It's another perspective with I, the mystic philosopher. And yes, my melanin people, it is high time for reasoning. Here in this, my final episode on Black is Evil and White is Good, episode 11, I will continue to explain and hammer home the fact that the English word black is a curse word. And if I might add, then for all those who might care or wish uh, to know, that the English word black and all of its synonyms are curse words. But the focus at this time is on the word black. So I will continue to explain and to hammer home the fact that the English word black is a curse word, that it is a bad omen, and that the primary and that primarily within the Caucasians' culture and Western societies. The word black is the mark, the sign, and the symbol of death. I will also continue to show and explain the reasons why we melaninated people of African ancestry should not continue to allow Caucasians or others to view or think of us as being stupid for not knowing the difference between black and white, especially here in the Caucasoid or Caucasoid Western society. So question 11. Is it possible that if you all should, without any form of bias or prejudice, revisit, search, and then research the meanings, the definitions, and representations of the word, the sign and symbol black, and also the adjectives and the and the adjectival phrases that are denoted as black with an open, unbiased, analytical, and free-thinking mind that you too may discover that the word black is indeed a curse, that it is indeed a bad omen, and that it is, and that it the word black is one of the root causes, if not the root cause of all the evils that have been and are being unleashed by our enemies upon us, the natural native earthly humans. We the earth's organic humans of high melanin, high carbon skin. Here are just a few examples of the English word and adjective black and the English word and adjective white describing a few nouns and finally giving the meanings and definitions of either their phrases or their newly formed compound words. A. A black list. A black list. The definition of a black list is a list of people or a list of products that are viewed with suspicion or disapproval. Now, a white list. A definition of a white list. A white list is a list of people or a list of products that are viewed with approval. So from this 
we can logically conclude that if you are on the list that is black, meaning that you are blacklisted, then you are cursed. And if you are on the list that is white, it is meaning you are whitelisted, then you are blessed. So you would have to be a fool not to know that if the Caucasian legal system say that you are black by naming, labeling, profiling, listing, carding, and calling you black. And if the Caucasian system police say that you are black by naming, labeling, profiling, listing, carding, and calling you black. And if the Caucasian society say that you are black by naming, labeling, profiling, listing, carding, and calling you black. Then from my perspective, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know or to figure out that you are on the blacklist of the world. You have to be a true idiot not to know that the Caucasian legal system, the Caucasian systems police, the Caucasian society view you with suspicion and with disapproval. You got to be a fool not to know that you have been viewed or you are viewed as a suspect, etc., etc., etc. My question to you, all my melanin people, is this. If you call a name, or if you are calling and naming yourself black, answer to the name black. Identify with the word black. Protest. Fight and defend the word black. Label and title black. Etc. Then on which of the two lists do you belong? If you say the white list, then I know that you have a very serious problem. And I'm not sure if anything or if I'm not sure what or if anything can be done to help you at this time. However, if you say the blacklist, then from my perspective, you are correct. Therefore, you should not be complaining that you are being met and treated with suspicion and, disappro and disapproval, or that you are not being treated equally or fairly with those that are on the white list. Please remember that black, that black is the opposite of white. As, and as such, the black list is the opposite of the white list. In a previous episode, I told you that there are no such thing as white people, white human, or white humankind that are visibly dwelling on this our planet mother earth i also told you that the people that name label listed and call themselves white are not at all white but that they have falsely cunningly and deceptively called themselves white and consequently the whole world has been deceived into calling and believing that they are in words and indeed white. That they are in words and indeed a white people. And as such, they automatically or by default and sometimes very undeservingly ended up on the white list. Next, let's look at the word a black ball. <clears throat> Sorry. A black ball. What's the meaning and definition of black ball? Is to reject someone, usually a candidate applying to become a member of a private club. Typically, 
rejection typically by means of a secret ballot. So from this we can see that to be blackballed is to be rejected. On the contrary, a whiteballed definition, basic activated common sense also should tell us that if black is the opposite of white, then a white ball is or a white ball must be the opposite of a black ball. Thus, if you are perceived as a white ball, you are automatically accepted. But if as a black ball, you are automatically rejected. Next, let's look at the word uh, black guard. Adjective describing nouns. Adjective black describing the noun guard. A black guard, guard is, def, uh, is defined as a person, particularly a man who behaves in an or uh, in a dishonorable or content contemptible way. Contemptible way. On the contrary, a white guard. Here again, logically, is a person, particularly a man, who behaves in an honorable, admirable, or esteemable way. Next, we look at a black sheep. A black sheep, by definition, is a member of a family or group who is regarded as a disgrace to them. A disgrace to that group like the black sheep of the family. On the contrary, a white sheep, dull sheep, a wise sheep, a normal, uh, a normal well-behaved individual among a group of, of this um, of discreetable individuals compared black sheep so it's a complete opposite of a black sheep when you have white as an adjective describing you the noun you're in good standing but when you are when you have black as the adjective describing you then you're in bad shape let's look at another one black magic magic is black magic is the defined as Magic involving the supposed uh, invocation of evil spirit for evil purposes. That's black magic. On the contrary, white magic, magic used only for good purposes. So I'm saying, let's take a quick look at the word hawkers because they're gonna be using the word black and white to describe hawkers in a minute first who is a hawker a hawker is a person by definition a hawker is a person who uses computers to gain unauthorized access to data in other words from my perspective a hawker is nothing but a thief however let's look at when a hawker is being, the thief is being described, uh, the adjective is used to describe a thief, a hawker. <clears throat> a black hat hawkers are criminals and wrongdoers. However, no, black criminals and wrongdoers, black hat hawkers, criminals and wrongdoers. However, a white hat Hawker or white hat hawkers are ethical hawkers who work to protect systems and people. Why would you want to call yourself black? Now you have the gray hat hawkers too. I should just mention them. They are hawkers. They are described as hawkers that dabble in both black hat and white hat tinkering. Now, with all that said, let's use the adjective black now to describe a black man who is a black man by definition and by logic 
by definition, a black man, a dark-skinned man, a dialectical, dated, an evil spirit, boogeyman, a devil. And why does thou smile so at me? Unquote. Inquiring Hester, troubled at the expression of his eyes. So a black man is a devil, a boogeyman. And how do you know a black man according to the system? In accordance with his, his skin. A dark skinned man. Check your dictionary. All these are quotes from various dictionaries, English dictionaries. Now, on the contrary, a white man. Now, if white is the opposite of black, and the black man is an evil man, the white man reason and activated common sense is will tell us that a white man is a good man. For example, I quote, play the white man is a term used in parts of Britain meaning to be decent and trustworthy in one's actions. The similar American expression is that's mighty white of you with meaning of Thank you for being fair. So it's a complete opposite. And I've been saying it before and I'll continue to say it. If, if white mean white and black mean black, if white is an adjective and black is an adjective, and is white is used to describe the noun man, and black is used to describe the noun man, and they are both opposites, then they can never be equal. But I've spoken on that before. Now, question 15. Given the fact that the Caucasian language, known as the English language, is, an, is our honorable African ancestors, slave traders, slave masters, oppressors, persecutors, racist thieves, and murderers language, and given the fact that by extension it is still the language of some of their wicked seeds, heirs, and successors today, is it possible that if at all we are to change the game that we have so cunningly that we have been so cunningly and maliciously stacked against our ancestors the game that have so cunningly and maliciously stacked against our honorable ancestors by calling and naming them black and that they have so cunningly and maliciously stacked against us today by continuing to name and call us black and black people, coupled with all its synonyms and euphemisms. Is it possible that if we were to simply change the name from black to a name, to a word, to an adjective that best and truly described us for who and what we are that it will most definitely give us at the very least a much fairer chance at survival a much fairer chance at respect and human equal equal treatment among the human races from my perspective I honestly think and know that it is possible. In fact, not only do I think and know that it is possible to change the game by changing the name, but I also think and know that as people of African ancestry, as the natural native earthly humans, the earth's organic and highly melanin enriched humans, we not only owe it to ourselves, that wherever and whenever possible, we must and we should right the wrongs that was done to our honorable ancestors' reputations and help restore their greatness and their good names. I think, I do think, and do know that we must first change the name. We must first change the word black 
and totally disassociate ourselves from the name, from the word black, from the name and the word black, which as mentioned before, is a Caucasian word, a name that they have falsely, contemptuously, and denigratingly labeled us a word and name that the Caucasian system has effectively used to racially and otherwise categorized, profiled, and stigmatized us for hundreds of years. I also think and know that if or when we as a people collectively change the name, when we change the curse word black and adopt a word that best and truly describe who and what we truly are, then we will also immediately change our status socially, mentally, spiritually, and otherwise. Question number 16. With our very careful consideration being given to our appropriate application of the statement, it is slaves who make slave masters and not slave masters who make slaves, unquote. Is it possible that if at all we the earth's organic humans of high, we the earth organic people of high melanin, of high carbon skin complexion, are to achieve the desired response to the preceding question, we must stop calling and stop identifying ourselves as black, the black people, that we must stop answering to the name, title, label, profile, carding, etc., the black race of people. From my perspective, the answer to this question is a resounding yes. Individually and collectively, we should and we must stop calling ourselves black. And especially with the body of evidence and reasoning that I think that I have presented thus far. I think that those of us highly enriched melanin people of African ancestry that are not yet totally brain dead and mind dead, comatose, those of us that are totally buried and not yet totally buried in the system's hypnotic trance or its mental colonization, and to whom good sense, hope, and reason remain alive. I do honestly think that not only should we stop calling ourselves black, stop calling ourselves black people, the black race, etc., but that we must and that we should stop answering to the name, the title, the label, the profile, the carding, etc. And in as much as it is possible, and wherever it might be possible, we should and we must stop all others from calling, labeling, profiling, carding us black. The black people, the black race, or the black race of people, and all of its synonyms, and equivalent euphemisms. Question 17. In conjunction with the above question, is it possible that we must also immediately stop calling all Caucasian people white, white people, and the white race of people? For it is beyond, it is beyond self-evident and common sense that there is absolutely nothing white about them. Again, the answer to this question from my perspective is also a resounding yes. The fact is that whenever we call another human or another person white, consciously or unconsciously, intentionally or unintentionally, we are saying to that human or to that person while speaking into the universe that he or she is 
our superior and that you are or that we are their inferior whenever we do that. Whenever we call a person white, we are saying, I might even take the liberty of saying, grammatically we are saying that you are my superior and I'm your inferior. You are saying that he or she is your opposite, that he or she is good while you are bad, etc. Question number 18. Is it possible that we can be awakened to the fact that maybe with the exception of their teeth, some of them, teeth, their hair or the scalar of their eyes, that the skin of Caucasians is not white, that their history and track record and this our planet are not in the least white, and that their ancestors are not at all white, and that even their so-called white blood cells are not white? Question number 19. Is it possible that we can or that we may be awakened to the fact that by our calling, naming, profiling, carding, and listing Caucasians as white, white people, and as white people, as a white race, that we, the Earth's organic people of African ancestry, are not only with our own lips pronouncing blessings via good words, sound vibrations on them, but that we are also conversely and often times simultaneously accepting and perpetuating their diabolic lies that they are good, aka the white, they are white, and that we are evil, aka are also known as we are black, that they are our superiors, meaning that they are the light, the end, and and that we are their inferiors, and that we are deserving of being contained, that we are deserving of being exterminated, we are deserving of being eradicated, etc., by them and their black force, and their black forces. Question 20. Isn't it fair, reasonable, and logical to affirm that even a human that may be classified by the system and by others as having an extremely low IQ, but whose basic innate intelligence and common sense are activated, would realize and know that he or she cannot and that he or she should not expect to be segregated, called named, labeled, carded, profiled, and listed, etc., as being black and being a black man or a black woman, and at the same time also expect or is expecting to be treated as others that are segregate, segregated, called, named, labeled, carded, profiled, and listed, etc., as being white, as being a white man, a white woman, or that the two, uh, black and white, can be treated equally, will be treated equally, or that they even deserved to be treated equally. I think it is, and that it should and must be considered and ruled blasphemous. A blasphemous, a blasphemous act. That which is truly uh, against that which is truly uh, just. A blasphemous act against that which is truly pure, truly unblemished, and truly unadulterated. To call name, profile, label, and list any human, let alone earthly humans, as white, and any race or group of people as being white people. 
as and as a white race of people and by the same token i honestly think that it is and that it should and must be considered and rule truly a hate crime a, a, a crime a hate crime against our mother nature to call to name to list to label to card and profile a whole group of earth's organic people of highly melanin highly carbon skin humans as black a whole race as the black people and as a black race it's a crime an unforgivable crime against nature i also think that it does not make rational or logical sense for anyone who believes that he or she is black who wants to be seen as being black to be called black to be named black to be labeled black to be profiled black carded as black and at the same time he or she wants to be treated as white and as being equal to white or to be treated other than black to either mystic philosopher such an expectation uh, defies logic and is definitely not wise finally i will end this podcast an open letter blog post to you all my readers and listeners with the following quote that is taken f- from what i personally think was and is the most genuine and profound speech in history that has ever been delivered to the organization called organization called the united nations at their uh, 1963 convention and i quote until the philosophy which holds one race superior superior meaning the white am i done and another inferior inferior meaning black is finally and permanently discredited and abandoned that until there is no longer first class and second class citizens of any nation that until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes that until the basic human rights are equally guaranteed to all without regard to race until that day the dreams of lasting peace and world citizenship and the rule of international morality will remain but a fleeting illusion to be pursued but never attained unquote that was from the farmer emperor of ethiopia ethiopia his imperial majesty hail selassie i humbly and patiently anticipate your very prompt but timely meticulous thoughtful and scholarly response to each of my questions my comments and my comments as i endeavor to discredit the lie the great big black lie and the great big white lie i am the mystic philosopher